Hi, I'm Melissa Kuda, a physical therapy student at NYIT. Today I'm going to show you the manual muscle testing for ankle inversion and eversion. So you're going to put the patient in supine, which is laying down, and she's going to bring her ankle towards my hand. Can you bring it towards my hand? Okay, so the motion is that. Watch out for compensations, which is supination, which the foot would come up like this. So for a grade of one or trace, you would want to palpate the anterior tibialis tendon and the posterior tibialis. Okay, for a grade of one plus, she would move through at least half the range of motion and not the full range. For a grade of two, I'd say, Catherine, can you move your foot towards over here again? Good, and she's at the full range of motion. I applied my overpressure to know that she's there. Okay, and a grade of two plus, I would apply resistance to the first metatarsal. Catherine, can you fight against me as hard as you can? Same position. Good, hold it there. Good, she completed the full range of motion in the gravity minimized position. So now we're going to move on to the anti-gravity position. She's going to have the leg being tested on the bottom. So roll on your side towards me. Okay, scoot down a couple of inches. Good. So you want the ankle hanging off the table again. So for a grade of three, she's going to do the same motion. Bring your, uh, the side of your foot towards the sky. Good. Okay. I'm going to apply resistance for a three plus. Go. Fight, fight, fight. Good. Okay, bring it down. Relax. For a grade of four, I'm going to apply maximal, moderate to maximal resistance. Go. Okay, relax. Do it again. Good, stop. Okay, so to tell if she's a grade of four or five, I'd compare her strength to the normal values for a person of her age and gender and activity level, and com I would also compare it to the other side. If one side was stronger than the other, within the range, she would be a five. If one was weaker, she could be a four. Okay, so now we're going to start with ankle eversion. So lay on your back again. Good, and now we're going to test this side, her right side. So you're going to bring your toes towards this way for me. Good. So that's the motion we are doing. You should watch out for pronation, which would be a compensation for this. For a grade of one or a trace, you can palpate for the peroneus longus and brevis, which come around the lateral malleolus, about here. For a grade of one plus, she wouldn't get through the full range of motion, but you'd see some movement. For a grade of two, Catherine, can you bring your foot in that motion again? Okay, is that as far as you go? Apply over pressure, and she's there. And for a grade of two plus, I'm going to apply minimal resistance to the fifth metatarsal. Go. Push, push, push. Good. And she's there. So those are all for the gravity minimized. For the anti-gravity position, you're going to have the leg being tested on top. So, Catherine, can you roll towards me again? Okay, and you can use this to help support her foot. Okay. Okay, so now your this side of your foot is going to go up towards the sky. Good. Since she did by herself, that's a grade of three. Apply minimal resistance. This will be a three plus. Go, go, go. Good. Apply moderate to maximal resistance for a four, grade of four or five. Go. Good. And she's all the way there. I would then test the other side to see if she would be a grade of four or five. And that's it for ankle inversion and eversion, manual muscle testing.